Hello, hi, and welcome to today's video in which we're going to look at one more safety block, a very important one, the so-called GNO uh, Global Acknowledgement. Um, yeah. In the last videos, you've already seen some blocks that have a, an acknowledgement in there that you have to connect. Like our e-stop has an acknowledgement because if you hit e-stop and you undo e-stop, then you have to acknowledge. You have to say, hey, we have restarted e-stop. Everything can go on. The same with the safety door. You open the safety door, you close the safety door. You have to press acknowledge to say, hey, the safety door is closed again. To and press does not have an acknowledge because, well, it doesn't make much sense. You press it or you don't press it. <clears throat> yeah. Those are local acknowledgements for this safety door function, right? So this safety door function needs this acknowledgement. If you would have a second safety door, I copy and paste here, for example, this safety door here, which would be another one, can have the same acknowledge, of course, but could also have a different one. So these are, are really local for this one function block in this case that we're talking about. <clears throat> Then we have one more function. It is in safety functions, we have the so-called ACGL, the global acknowledgement. If I drag that into our program, it is actually a very simple block. I would say it a multi-instance, so it doesn't show up in our list here on the left, but only in our block interface. <clears throat> and you see, I only have to connect one thing here. And that's it. That's the global acknowledgement. Seems pretty easy, seems pretty simple. Usually, you take the same acknowledgement button that you take for the rest of your safety program. If you only have one acknowledgement button, you just take that as always. Uh, if not, then you take your global acknowledgement. This global acknowledgement does not acknowledge those blocks here. So it, you cannot delete this and now think, hey, global acknowledgement will take care. No, that's not the reason why we have global acknowledgement. The global acknowledgement here is for the DIDO modules themselves. If we go to the hardware here, the hardware has, of course, input output modules and this input, these input and output modules, only the ones that are in yellow, only our safety modules, our FDIs, FDQs, um, they have analytics inside and safety analytics. So if there was an error with them, like a short circuit in them, if they were pulled out for a, even a millisecond, if they had... Um, a discrepancy error like one input is active and the other is not and you're watching two channels at the same time um, and more and more and more if there's anything wrong with these modules right just with the yellow ones not the blue one the blue one is a standard one that doesn't do it only with these um, they will passivate themselves they will say hey something was wrong i'm not going to act anymore unless you do this global acknowledgement Right? The global acknowledgement re-engages these, um, these hardware modules after an error. That's why I cannot show it because I don't have the hardware here, but that's what the global acknowledgement does. <clears throat> so if, for example, let's pretend it is runtime. It is runtime. The, every, all systems are running and now something is wrong with this module here. For example, it, it gets pulled out. Right? It gets pulled out. Like right now, I pulled it out in reality. It is disconnected, there is an error, and the PLC analyzes, hey, there is an error. You put the module back in, right? you plug it back in, and it's still in error because it realized, hey, there is an error. What do you have to do? You have to do this global acknowledgement here to get rid of this error. That's why we have this one here, to reset, uh, to re-engage the hardware modules. Uh, pretty simple, pretty easy, actually. So basically, all your safety programs need this. All of them there's probably not there's not many modules that don't have this just very short on the side this is a global acknowledgement it acts for all io for all fdi and fdq modules so if you have 10 you just need this one that's why it's global acknowledgement you can also do it if you want for each module on its own you have these blocks here um you, you generate your hardware and then you have in your program, you have system blocks, you have safety blocks, and in there you have FIO uh, data blocks. Every single module that I have will have one data block for its own. So the first one here is this one, the FDI16, it's the same name. The second one, the FDQ8, it's this one. In those, if I go in here, you will see these have 
uh, passivation on. This will be on if there was an error. This is the passivation that deactivates the module. If that's on, you have to acknowledge. Then we have the acknowledge ray, which is acknowledge reintegration. This here is the bit that gets activated by the global acknowledgement. You do the global acknowledgement, this gets activated, the passivation deactivates, module runs again. What you could also do, if you want to do it for every module on its own, you can just take the bit. So right now, this is my uh, digital input module. I'd go into the safety program. I could theoretically just do this, an input and an output. On the output side, I take my acknowledgement reintegration from this module here, the digital input. And on the other side, I take my acknowledgement output. Uh, my acknowledgement button and now if the acknowledgement button is pressed this only if this is not here only the input module will reintegrate the output module if it has an error we cannot reintegrate it right now uh, if i also want to do that of course i can take the data block here i will make another network i will make the same here i could have a second acknowledgement button i don't have one i could have one and i just grab the reintegration and put it in here this network here reintegrates, you see it up there, reintegrates the my output module. This one reintegrates my input module. Usually you don't do it one by one. What do you normally do? Of course, you take the global acknowledgement and just do the global acknowledgement for all of them at once. But you can do it one by one if you want to, if you need to. Good. That was just a quick and easy video um, just to round up the important blocks that are there in safety programming. Um, I felt like this one still needed to be in there. Um, this week on Thursday, I will probably take a short break. So if there's no tea on Thursday, sorry, I am on vacation um, and I don't really feel like making videos. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, if there's still going to be a video, be happy about it. Um, I don't know yet. <laughs> Maybe I'll take a day off. Sorry for this. Uh, anyway, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like the video. Um, don't forget to check out the forum. Link is in the description below. If you've got questions, just go to the forum. Someone might answer your questions. If you want to toss some coin my direction, if you want to help me out for doing such great work on this channel, I am awesome. <laughs> Thanks for all the support, by the way. I always read the comments and it's pretty cool. Um, yeah. If you want to toss some coin, there's a link in the description with which you can uh, go to my GoFundMe and toss some coin. Thanks, Magnus. Thanks, Marco. Thanks, Andre. Thanks, Tomas. Uh, I don't know. Thanks, Patrick. There's so many people that have already donated. Thanks to all of you. Thanks for all the support on the channel. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you latest next Tuesday. So, bye-bye. Stay safe, stay healthy. Bye. Have a nice day. <laughs>